the stem is the front part of the ship. It's the bow. It's where uh, the water hits the boat. The stem from top to bottom is just under seven meters long. It goes right down to the keel, which is the very base of the ship, all the way to the very top, uh, top of the rail, basically. The two main components for the stem is the stem and the apron, which we call, which are two long posts that are combined together. The wood we're using for the stem is a locally sourced, we call it a wapinol here, otherwise known as a yatoba. It comes from about 20 kilometers away, taken down by landslide. At the very top, we have what we call the gammon knee and uh, that's composed of two other separate pieces that are splined and bolted together too. Uh, it's a very heavy construction. This entire structure weighs about 2.2 tons. At the base here we have what we call the stem knee assembly and that's also composed of several pieces that are all jointed and fitted together and heavily bolted. We're also going to use a wapinol for the stern structure and uh, the rudder probably, as well as other components where solid strength and durability are required. It's a uh, very hard wood, very dense, uh, sinks in water, uh, hard to cut, but uh, also lasts multiple lifetimes. It's a very good wood for this type of structure. As soon as you have a fresh cut, it has like a light yellow tinge to it, but then after the sun, and the oxygen do their work. Within 10 to 12 days, it'll change to a dark red hue. It was very important to have very precise cuts. All the joints, you shouldn't be able to put a credit card through any of the cracks. So we took all of the dimensions and the curves from the lofting floor made some molds and then transfer them directly to the pieces, rough sawn everything out with the chainsaw and then finish it with a big electric anvil. A very important part of the stem assembly is marking out and cutting the rabbit line, which is where the hull planking uh, joins into the stem itself. It's very important that this line is well measured out and well cut because it gives a lot of strength to the front of the ship and the more precision the more ease of construction we will have uh, further on in the build. Initially it's attached to the keel itself. It's bolted on with big heavy reinforced steel bolts and uh, wooden joinery. Then the entire hull comes fastened to the apron. We are almost ready to install the stem. It feels really good to finally get her up. It will give another dimension to the ship itself.